I think the other thing that I learned in KSTF that took me a while to implement was um, giving students very carefully sequenced tasks, uh, but then once they get the task, stepping back almost totally and letting them run the class. Um, so when you come into my class, many days you won't see me doing things that look like teaching. Uh, I've tried to lay out an activity that I think will help students, and I try only to step in if they are significantly off track. Uh, it's really, really helpful to them to get an opportunity to struggle and work through it on their own or to work through it in small groups. Uh, but that has taken a lot of uh, training on my part to be able to do that, uh, and, and KSDF provided me with that. Interestingly, it's the, the honors and the AP students who are initially most resistant to that hands-off teaching model. Um, I think in part because they've been very successful in the way school has traditionally looked. Uh, the teacher sets the agenda, the teacher directs them in a way, in a direction they need to go, and they deliver on that direction. Uh, so changing it up not only is cognitively demanding, but they feel like I'm changing the rules of the game and they liked it before. Um, my students in inclusion classes or my students uh, who get special education services really like that change and I attribute that to uh, maybe school hasn't gone the best for them throughout their academic career and so a change is a welcome one. Um, so a lot of uh, teaching this way is managing expectations and talking to my, particularly my successful students, about why we have to make this change and why I think it's good. Mm -hmm.